hey guys it is me phoenix please do me a favor like share subscribe hit the bell notification to be notified when i post a new video remember red hearts you made it through purple hearts if it resonates green hearts if you're working on it yellow hearts you rock with me got my six need to have my back because i have yours i am going to pull from the honest love tarot to see what comes out you guys do me a favor like share subscribe and hit the bell notification there is some type of transformation or endings or new beginnings when it comes to, yeah, your service for others. Even though somebody may rock your world, you have to go on a different path and take a leap for yourself. Yeah, and this could be family, friends, um, but it says, yeah, you're taking risks. So uh, your service for others is changing, whether somebody wants you or not. You know, you can love somebody dearly, but at some point you have to get to the point to where you have clarity that, you know, whether the feelings are there, their feelings are mutual, family, friends, whatever it is, you have to take a risk on an adventure in things. And, um, you know, it's time to take a different path. So a leap of faith. So there you have it. That is kind of where I see it at. You know, somebody, you can love somebody dearly, but again, um, that might not be the case when it comes to what you have to do uh, moving forward. So a different path is taking, making a decision to, of uh, wands energy. You have to make a decision in regards to what it is that you need to do. So let's clarify this, uh, ending that brings new beginnings, the eighth house energy, uh, Scorpio like death energy, but you know, it is a transformation that brings new beginnings when it comes to you having, yeah. And trusting in yourself and the situation. So the two of swords energy is here. It's you have a choice to make. So the choice is whether you should end or begin a certain situation, but rock in your world, no matter how much you love a person, place, thing, or a situation, you know, sometimes you just have to move on. And that's the world energy. It's a completion of, you know, a certain situation. And so the universe is telling you, you know, uh, trust in your decisions and understand that at some point, somebody can rock your world, they can love you, but the Three of Swords it still brings heartbreak and also King of Wands. You have to make these decisions, you know, and become a leader when it comes to what it is that you're going through. This is seeing a big picture in overcoming the challenges, no matter how you feel about and how your emotions are with this situation. And then we have the routine for service, how you love and how you want to be loved, you know. And so with that being said, you know, it could have to do with your health. It could have to do with, yeah, hermit energy. Yeah, you soul searching. So, you know, the hermit energy, it should be card of cancer, but it really isn't. And I believe that, hold on one second. I mean, it's card of Virgo. I'm about to sneeze, earth energy. But, you know, it's time for a different path. You have to unlearn to relearn based upon the path and search for something else. Yeah, it's time for a different path because devil energy is, um, you know, toxic energy. It's uh, some type of, um, how do you call it when it comes to you actually um, addictions? That's what I'm trying to say addictions when it comes to addictions. But again, different paths is meaning that you're over it. You're over trying to take a leap of faith when it comes to you being a fool um, uh, in regards to love and how you want to be loved in the way that you're being loved. So the clarity and you're taking a leap, uh, the full energy is here so clarifying that with unsheer energy of the three of pentacles yeah so the three of pentacles is you basically um learning but at some point you're taking the leap to move forward because you're not learning anything you're not getting anything out of this situation you know uh normal teamwork or some type of collaboration or learning from your past mistakes but in this being in limbo you're not learning anything so i'm going to clarify that uh because it needs clarification yeah okay the card comes out is the death energy yeah the universe is telling you to end the situation because there's a lot of conflict there uh seven of wands energy and the death energy is here twice um where's it at oh right here the eighth house the death energy is here twice endings that bring new beginnings and so the seven of wands energy being here is, is you know you're defensive over this no matter if this family friends or whatever it is you have to realize that um no matter who a person is yeah, the full energy comes out twice. You have to take a leap and be able to move, whether they're related to you, whether it's a job you've been at for however many years. It is something that you have to do uh, a love, a love, love relationship or situationship, whatever it is. You have to take a risk and basically take a leap and move forward and look forward to the adventure. Whether somebody says that they want you or not, you have to want yourself 
uh, better, more than they do. And so this is you moving forward, Ada Wands energy. You know, this is movement. You understanding that, you know, when it comes to these situations, the only thing that you can do is kind of love yourself and make a decision to move forward. And that's the way that you see this, uh, or I see this. And whether, again, like I said, somebody wants you, they are clear, clear with what they want, a new idea. This could be, um, uh, what is it called? Um, um, Ace, uh, Ace of Cups energy, but this is clarified with the uh, moon energy. They're unsure. And so the mysterious energy of you not understanding or not really knowing what it is, Page of Cups energy, you have to be able to make a decision and um, move forward, you know? And so it's a hard thing to do, especially when it comes to love, family, and relationship. But you have to move forward and go from there, you know? There's curiosity. There's things that you have to do when it comes to you exploring the world and seeing if there's love outside of this or if there's anything outside of what you've been going through. And so that's just kind of how I see that when it comes to this situation. I'm going to pull from the heart, the heart's hidden secrets to see uh, what this is in regards to. Yeah, it's just like the endings and the fools taking the leap for yourself. You're not waiting on anyone else to make moves. Yeah, conflict. You understand that there's conflict, but... Uh, you're not sure if this is you, your energy of seeing the differences and that this person is incompatible with you if you're clashing. So you're really just trying to make a decision when it comes to this. Yeah, to see if they um, see the beauty in you and um, you know that you're kind hearted and everything and you just want to be treated like that. You don't want it to. Yeah, you you're unsure about how they, you know, in the past they abandoned you, dismissed the way you felt and they lived uh, in fear and the rejection is there so you don't think that this person is going to really give you the love that you need because of the past energies or, or this situation you know so again it's been a situation where it's a back and forth disappearing act and you know you feel invisible when it comes to that there's no sparks no attraction and that's the clarity that you have when it comes to you wanting to experience a new beginning you want to see what love what 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 it feels like to be appreciated what it feels like to be motivated in a different direction when it comes to any situation. When it comes to love, you want to see what real family is. When it when it comes to blood being thicker than water, you just want to be able to make a decision to see something different. When it uh, and this could be a job. You know, your job may not appreciate you. You know, they may or they may not appreciate you. But you just want to make sure that you're making the right decisions. And sometimes the best way to make that decision is to walk away from the things that no longer serve you and that you feel certain uh, ways about this is the in the shadows deck by all things intuitive to see what energy comes out because again the thing is is that you're going to question it and you're going to really know at the end of the day that you know the moon energy coming out you have to be able to go and understand what fear is and why you know it's it's meant for you to take that leap because you're you're afraid to do that it says i wish you'd come back so yeah you left a situation. I fantasized about you. So uh, now, you know, the chemistry might be there, might not be there. But again, the same runner energy wants you to come back or the same energy that didn't appreciate you wants you to come back. And, you know, they're fantasizing about you. Or it could be a point that if it's not a family member or if it's a work situation, they realize that you did the job better than anyone else. And if this is when it comes to a family, yeah, I know we have a soul connection. That could be in regards to love. And new opportunities you're the e you're so easy to to see through so um maybe your love or something like that i know we have a soul connection but again you weren't appreciated in the beginning so now you found a way to understand what the conflicts are and to be able to trust in yourself and to be able to move forward and know the difference between teamwork you know and what it is to uh be together as a cohesive unit so you have to understand that that is something that you want to feel appreciated, you know, and so therefore you're not going to feel appreciated if you're dealing with somebody who doesn't know how to appreciate your time, energy, and your gifts. So I'll pull from the situation deck just to see, you know, because again, somebody has to recognize I'm so tired. Yeah, history came out, but uh, the card's falling on the ground. Yep, I'm using my phone to pick it up because I'm tired of bending down. Yeah, in the past. You have to understand that the past causes a lot of fear and it causes people to not to want to move forward, but that's not your concern. And also when it comes to you, you're not in denial of not facing the truth. This person is. And so therefore 
when it comes to the unconditional love, you're trying to see, yeah, they're going to confess their love. But remember, you're insatiable. They were insatiable to you, but they want more because you removed your energy attraction. They're attracted to you. The chemistry is there. You're insatiable. And now, what does it say here? Um, I fantasize about you. So is this a sexual thing? You know, and I know we have a soul connection, um, but you have to kind of determine what it is that you want out of the situation. I'm going to pull from the four agreements and then I'm going to pull from the crystal deck. Um, and if you want to know what the crystal, what the meanings of the chakras are, I'll put the link up above and the four agreements as well. Don't make assumptions. Yeah. Uh, potential. Be aware of the unconscious assumptions that you make. Um, you, you could fantasize about them. You could have fantasized about them and saw the potential in them, but they have to actually really want to know, uh, want to, uh, love you. And it's not about, you know, remember when Ariel had to sing her song, the siren or whatever it was. It's not about how you can mesmerize people because you're insatiable. It's about how they treat you. So you can sing all the songs that you want, but if they don't treat you the right way, it doesn't make a difference. Assumptions are made so fast and un unconsciously most of the time because we have uh, agreements to communicate this way. We have agreed that it is, it is not safe to ask questions. We have agreed that if people love us, they should know what we want or how we feel. And no, that's not the case. You have to say what you want and mean what you say. And basically, you have to be able to speak your mind, especially when it comes to uh, love and so no you can't go back to the past but you can understand and learn from the past live in the present moment and move and and know that your future is bright and you got to wear shades so present moment is where you are if you're so easy to see through that's what the that's the thing they thought they thought you were easy to see through but until you changed up and you had to protect yourself the past uh did happen and there's nothing that you could do about it you can either run from it or learn from it Ooh, who says that oh rafiki knows the way so you can either run from it run and fear uh, from fear of the past or you can learn from it present moment and understand that the future causes anxiety so living in the present moment sit with your feelings move forward say what you want mean what you say and then when you get hit with a stick ah what you do that for it doesn't matter it's in the past so the past can hurt right and so, therefore, you have to be able to determine or discern through what it is that you want to do based upon this past energy. And so, there you have it. You can't make assumptions. The Jasper, the Black Jasper is the card that came out. Um, hold on. It says the root and the solar plex chakra. The solar plex chakra came out. Was that this reading? Oh, I don't know. I don't think it was this reading. But the solar plex chakra came out of my last read, I think. But anyway um grounding cleansing and healing grounding cleansing and healing and it says i am emotionally grounded and physically stable i am emotionally grounded and physically stable and that's all you wanted was to be emotionally grounded and physically stable but you also wanted love in the process of this however again you can't teach somebody how to love you you can show them um but they have to be able to know and based upon what you say you have to be able to tell them one thing and then they have to show you that they're capable of loving you the way that you want to be loved and if it's not the case then that's the boundary and you have to walk away right so let's go ahead and let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or situation I love you guys.